Yo, Cowboys fans, good morning, good morning, good morning. Still repping, no matter what. So, tough loss, tough loss, tough loss. You lose by eight to the Rams. They're moving on to play New Orleans. A lot of you guys are like, well, it makes me feel better that Philly lost. I honestly thought that Philly would win the game. Um, and it's crazy because I thought that if Dallas went to New Orleans, I thought that Dallas could beat the Saints. I don't know. I like Drew Brees, but you saw him yesterday. Some of his throws were off. His arm looks like it's lost power. So I just think that it would have been a great matchup for Dallas. But Dallas didn't make it. Um, you know, really got punished on the ground. And that ultimately was, you know, what did us in. But I'm in a great mood today, guys, because I released a new song. It's titled Creep. Um, me and my buddy Coles, a lot of you guys have followed me, followed the music, um, and I need you guys to show some love. I'm going to drop a snippet in here right now. So who's that creeping in your window? She's out there. Run to your candle. It's not safe. She walks the streets. So who's that creeping in your window? She's out there. Okay, guys, I know it's a rough, 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 rough Monday in D.C. It's snowing. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's it's snowing out here. But, you know, I've been doing this music thing for a long time. So if you guys could, you know, add it to your Spotify playlist or add it to your iTunes playlist on Spotify's Foots Times Coles, all one word. And on iTunes is Foots Space X Space Coles. We're trying to get that fixed. That's been a headache, but add us to your playlist. Spread the music around. It's on SoundCloud as well. I'll put all three links in here. <sighs> Here's what it is. So, guys, news comes out today. And thank you guys, all of you guys who continue to grow with me in every facet and everything that I do. And I know you guys want to hear ball, so let's talk ball. Um, so today, obviously, news comes out that Linehan is more than likely or Garrett doesn't see for C. Uh, big changes. Now, that doesn't mean that Linehan for sure will be the OC. Anything can happen. We know this owner. We know Jerry Jones. Um, we get it. But I can't say I can't say either way um, because, especially if you think in this last game, I know everybody wants to the, wants to point to the fourth and one, but I I mean. Your offense didn't lose you that game. Zeke didn't play well, and you were still in the game. You could not stop the Rams' rushing attack. 270. So I don't care what plays Linehan called. Um, the Cowboys weren't – you're not going to win a game in the, in the NFL in any league. Pee Wee, any, any league, anywhere you're playing football, if a team has 200-plus rushing yards, you're going to lose the game, period. You could find some stat on the internet where a team may have won a game, but more than likely you're gonna you're gonna lose that game. Period. You have to stop the run. The Cowboys didn't, you know, slanting their line a bunch and and that eye candy of the motion man it, it, on that read option. Like it, even when I'm coaching my kids, if a team tries to do like a wing tee, for example, and they try to use eye candy, which a wing tee is a very good is a very good offense. You have to be disciplined and you have to shoot those gaps regardless. If they're going to hand the ball to Robert Woods 10 times or the motion man, let them do that. But I can't let C.J. Anderson and Todd Gurley have 100 apiece. I will tackle them every single time. The Cowboys didn't. They didn't play sound. Leighton played bad. Sean Lee played bad. Jalen played bad. It is what it is. Like, I don't have to do a 1,000 film breakdowns. If you rewatch that game one time, all right, if you rewatch that game one time, you'll see that the Cowboys – whether it was their D-line, out of position, not playing gap sound, or their linebackers were not. When you play linebacker, your run fits have to be stout, all right? You saw Layton getting blown up, and he he's had an amazing year, but he had a down game. Jalen, everybody was catching tackles. Nobody was meeting C.J. Anderson. I called him a bowling ball. Like, we literally lost to a bowling ball. Um, nobody was meeting C.J. Anderson at the point of attack, and so you lost. Um, the Rams were just a better team. But for this team to be three and five at one point, 
to beat Seattle in a wild card game and then go on the road and lose by eight, I'm not like I'm not gonna throw a tantrum tantrum and I'm not mad at Jason Garrett. I know you guys are gonna throw tomatoes at the screen, but I'm not mad at Jason Garrett for saying he wants to keep Linehan. Now Linehan was a coward for not talking to the media. Very coward move. And I could you could go either way. Here's what has to happen though. Whoever's gonna be the offensive coordinator has to marry a scheme to what Dak Prescott likes to do and what makes him comfortable. I think Dak is very good in the quick passing game. All right, now you have a real threat, a receiver named Amari Cooper. He's a real threat. I mean, Amari Cooper, I told you guys on this channel, that's why that video is on my home screen. Amari Cooper is the real deal, Holyfield, all right? So if you can, if you can create something, and I'll get into this with my draft talk because I also have our top three needs for me, and you guys know, me and Joe, we're going to hit draft coverage like nobody else. That's what we do. I know Vach hits the draft really hard, but I love the draft. Joe Rodriguez is very sound in knowing players and scouting. So that's what we really, really like to do. But for me, this offense needs to take a shift, all right? I think that, and this may sound crazy, you're going to now have to ask Dak to throw the ball more, okay? To preserve Ezekiel Elliott, you're going to have to ask Dak to throw the ball more. Michael Gallup has shown that he could be a real number two, maybe even develop into a one. So now this offense should take a shift to being 100% balanced, and I think it will next year. I think that, you know, the Cowboys just got out schemed, but I'm not ready to jump off the bandwagon. It could be a lot worse. You could be the Skins. You could be the, the Bucks. You could be the Browns are trending up, but you could be, you know, teams like the Jets. Cowboys fans, we can't be spoiled. I know it hurts today. It hurts. It hurts me. But I'm not ready to throw this team away. I'm definitely not throwing Jason Garrett away. I know you guys hate that, but he got this team out of the dumps, and, and, and that's just a fact. So, and you lose your starting center. I mean, things weren't perfect this year. So, now... Here's what I really want to discuss, all right, Cowboys fans. I want to discuss the Cowboys' top three draft needs. And while I know I hear tight end, I know I hear interior lineman, and those are one of my two, I want to scat back in the second round. Um, I want a real scat back, a real change of pace back who can catch the ball, who can take a five-yard dump, make some linebackers miss who can come in in the third in the third in, in the third quarter while teams have been tackling Zeke all game and and really take a play to the house. I now want to get into not really a two back system, but just a back who can do special things. Um I don't want it to be as even like Zeke still needs the bulk of my carries, but I want to get a back who can 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 move in a slot, can take handoffs because I love Ron Smith, but I just don't think he's it. I think Jarwin and Dalton Schultz have shown me enough to where I say I can build with that. Scat back or a change of pace running back, interior lineman, and now maybe I'm looking at a free safety in like the third, in like the third or the fourth round, maybe a true ball hawk. And now you move. Xavier Woods up and then you know Jeff Heath I love Jeff Heath Jeff Heath but his instincts just aren't there you saw on that play action I mean he was fooled I mean it was terrible his instincts just aren't there so that's kind of what I'm looking at I'm thinking scat back interior lineman safety later rounds obviously we don't have a first round pick but I will be doing some deep dives on these guys okay Cowboys fans you win some, you lose some. But I'm very, very proud of this team. I hate to sound like that guy, but, you know, this team, they gave their all. We're so young. We'll be back. We'll be back, Cowboys fans. Trust me, we will be back. And I'll be here. I'm going to get started on some draft coverage. I may hit a mock draft pretty soon. So um, I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. I didn't go anywhere last year. So I'll be here giving you guys content. It's your boy, Fuss the King, as always. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye-bye.